Hello, my name is Helen Murphy and in this topic I'm going to be talking about planning for pregnancy. I'm a diabetes and pregnancy researcher, but I'm also a clinician, so I look after women with diabetes in across two busy pregnancy clinics. And these are my disclosures. So what I'm going to talk about is how best to support women with diabetes to plan for a safe and healthy pregnancy. So that's about understanding the risks of an unplanned pregnancy and knowing specifically what women with diabetes can do to reduce the risk of unplanned pregnancy, which is about talking through safe, effective contraception offer, um, options and some practical tips for the women who are planning a pregnancy or attending pre-pregnancy care clinics. So all women want a safe and healthy outcome for their pregnancy, but of course pregnancy does come with some risks, whether you have diabetes or whether you don't. So for women without diabetes, the risk of having a baby that has a, a complication known as a birth defect is about 1-2%. to For women with diabetes, those risks can be increased. The risks for women with diabetes are particularly increased for those with higher levels of HbA1c around the time they get pregnant. But for women who plan their pregnancy, get their HbA1c levels to a safe um, value, then their risks are close to that of the normal maternity population. So how can we get women safe and ready for pregnancy? Well, the most important thing is actually identifying the women who are not planning on pregnancy and making sure that they are well informed of the options for contraception. Really important to know that the choice of contraception for women with diabetes is exactly the same as for women who don't have diabetes. So women and their partners can choose between the short-term contraceptive um, contraception options, um, that's things like the oral contraceptive pill, the mini pill or condoms, or the longer-term options, coils, implants or injections. It's also fine for women with diabetes to use emergency contraception, just in the same way as it is for women who don't. For women who are thinking about pregnancy, they can go to a pre-pregnancy care clinic. But of course, there are very many women who are in between and they're not really planning for a pregnancy, but they're not yet on contraception. And they're the women that we need to discuss more about what, how, what we can do to help them find a contraception that works for them. The Family Planning Association is a great place to go looking for all information um, and that's widely available online. So for women with diabetes, the first step is to start to get glucose levels safe and ready for pregnancy. That means checking glucoses much more often than any other times in your career with diabetes. Usually it means checking before meals, checking after meals, checking overnight. It means giving insulin at least 15 to 20 minutes before eating. It means doing your best to get HbA1c levels to as near as possible to 48 or 6.5%. If you're using a CGM, then it's about getting your time in range as near as you can to 70% of readings in the range of 3.9 to 10. But of course, remembering that any improvement in glucose levels is, will reduce the risk of complications in pregnancy, so every little helps. Now, for women who have a HbA1c that's above 86 or 10%, the best advice is just wait a little bit, pause, Get yourself on contraception uh, until those levels are safer to give you and your baby the best chance for a healthy pregnancy. All of this takes time, so plan ahead, and it does take most women six to 12 months to get ready for pregnancy. Step two is to start thinking about taking folic acid. Now, folic acid is a B vitamin. It's um, very important in the early stages of pregnancy for baby's brain development, and it is present in lots of green leafy vegetables, but most of us don't get enough of it in our daily, in our dietary intake. So all pregnant women are advised to take 400 micrograms of folic acid, but for women with diabetes, their recommendation is to take an even higher dose of folic acid, so five milligrams per day. And we know from many research studies that taking five milligrams a day from three months before pregnancy really reduces the risk of your baby having a major problem like a spina bifida. So again, plan ahead, get on folic acid at least three months before you start trying for a baby.
So now your glucose levels, you're working on getting glucose levels sorted, you're taking safe dose of folic acid, it's time to start looking at all of your medications and seeing which of those are safe for pregnancy and if any of them might need to be swapped for a safer option. Some of the common medications that women with diabetes take are blood pressure medications and cholesterol medications. Usually they will be stopped but sometimes swapped for a healthier alternative. All diabetes tablets other than metformin are usually stopped during pregnancy and swapped for insulin. Insulin is completely safe during pregnancy and it does not cross the placenta. So it's a really good choice for getting glucose levels ready for pregnancy. By now you've got your glucose levels in range, you've been taking folic acid and all your medications are safe. So the final steps are to have your eyes and your kidneys checked. So make sure you're up to date with retinal screening, with kidney checks. If you do have eye problems, you might need to see a specialist eye clinic. Um, like all women who are planning pregnancy, aim for a healthy weight. Remember when you're pregnant, your baby eats what you eat. So start getting used to that in the three to six months before pregnancy. Aim to keep active, walking for at least 30 minutes every day. And if you do smoke, ask for help to quit. So what are the steps that women can take to get ready for pregnancy? Well, the most important one is to plan ahead. It does take time and effort, and it takes most women with diabetes six to 12 months to get ready for pregnancy. Keep going with your contraception until your glucose levels are safe for pregnancy. Start taking folic acid for at least three months before you get pregnant, and make sure that all of your medications are safe. Get your eyes and your kidneys checked and get to the healthiest weight you can manage. Remember, it takes extra time and effort and support, but it will be worth it in the end. Importantly, if you are already pregnant and you didn't plan it, don't panic. Speak to your GP today, get referred to your diabetes and pregnancy clinic, expect to see them within about a week and start right now getting your glucose levels as safe for pregnancy as you can. You'll need lots of supplies, lots of glucose testing strips, extra CGM sensors if you're using sensors. You'll need glucagon to prevent hypos and ketone strips. So starting now, start managing your diabetes and your glucose levels as best you can. There are lots of online resources out there, many tools that can help women plan for pregnancy. The Tommy's Diabetes Tool is just one of them, but look online and get support from other women who've been through this journey. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this topic about planning for pregnancy and that you're now better able to support women with diabetes to plan for a safe and healthy pregnancy, to counsel them about the risks of an unplanned pregnancy and the options for safe, effective contraception to reduce the risk of unplanned pregnancy. We've also shared some tips for planning um, pregnancy for women with diabetes. And that's really all about glucose control, folic acid, and stopping any harmful medications. So I hope you found it helpful and I hope you will go on and enjoy some of the other modules.